so now that you got all your tools lined up and you got your clippers, you know, all that good stuff, now you're going to pray. And you know, this is a step that you can't skip. It's one of the most important steps that you gotta have. So, bow your heads, close your eyes, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and bringing us here together, Lord. Thank you for everybody watching this video, Lord. I pray that I'm able to be helpful, Lord, and that I'm able to give some insight to somebody, Lord, that didn't know before this video, God. I pray that it's quick and concise, Lord, and that whoever is watching this, that it can be helpful to them, that they can have a good cut as well as me. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's do this. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Trey World. And the purpose of my channel is to help you become the very best version of yourself that you can be because you can't spell self-improvement without me. Now, this is the second step to a ball fade. And as you can see, I'm doing right here. It's just making that initial guideline, right? This is the first line that you're going to ball everything out underneath. Hence the name, ball fade. You're going to start under one temple go all the way around your head and connect it to the other temple like so and everything under that line that X's you just gonna cut it off and bald it out now what I like to do here is I like to get my and this pro ally detailers and I like to you know just get that excess hair and make sure that it's completely bald what I'm doing right here is just detailing and you know you don't have to do it but I like my face to be very precise so if you don't have this tool, it's cool, but it's linked down in the description below. All you're gonna do is just, you know, bald it out. Just make sure you're getting all that little excess hair that you couldn't get with your trimmers. Okay, so step three is we're going to make our hair even. Now, what I'm using on my top is a two, as you can see, and I'm just gonna even that top off. Now, my hair is not exactly a two, but it's not exactly a one and a half, so it's somewhere in between, but I'm just gonna use this just to make everything even, and then you're gonna move on to the next step. All right, children, moving right along to the next step. Oh, wait, y'all y'all dig the audio? Yeah, that's that lo-fi chill aesthetic music. I, I love these kind of beats for my videos. Anyway, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that you're using the clippers in an upward motion, have them partially closed, and you're gonna go up about I'd probably say a half an inch. Now this is your second initial guideline. And again, with these clippers, you're gonna wanna make sure that um, it's almost, the clippers are almost closed, but you know, there's, they're partially open. And again, you're gonna go in an upward scooping motion and you're gonna go right under your temple, again, setting your second guideline. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that number one guard is one lever all the way closed and you're going to be going right above that last guideline you made in a scooping motion. And this right here is one of the most crucial lines in the fade because this is really going to be what makes the fade pop. So you're just going to be going up. This one is about an inch. Um, this is a bald fade, so I kind of like my bald fade a little higher. So it's personally your preference is about an inch. You can go a half an inch if you want your fade to be a little lower. But for me personally, when I do a bald fade, I want to kind of hide. So you're going to do this on both sides of your head. And you're just going to follow that the pattern, the, the, the shape of your head, like you see me doing. And you're going to keep that line consistent on both sides of your head. Okay, so now it's time to start fading. What you're going to do is have the lever completely closed. And you're going to go up in a scooping motion and you're gonna knock out that bottom line. Now you're not gonna to wanna to go up too high, but you're just gonna to wanna to keep the clippers on that bottom line until you see it blend in to the bald part of your hair. Just gonna scoop up and play with the lever if you need to. When I say play with it, open it up and close it as you see fit. Open it up a little more as you go up, close it as you go a little more down towards the line and keep on attacking this line. And I say attacking, like you gonna to wanna, to, you know, press up on this line so you can get rid of it. Keep doing that until you see the line disappear and then you move on to the next step. Simple as that. Okay, so boom, the next thing we're gonna do is take that half guard and we're going to blend the next line in. So the line you just finished is the first guideline. Now we're moving over to the second guideline. You see this line? It's very prominent right now, but the more that we fade and attack it, the the more it's going to disappear. So you just play with that level. I start with the lever closed and as I advance further up the fade, I open it up a little bit. And you're just gonna continue to adjust it until the fade is at your liking. 
Same steps as previously. All right, so moving right along with the next step, as you can see, the fade is almost complete. I have a two at the top of my hair that I remind you, and I'm just using that one and a half guard now to blend the bulk into the fade. Now, if you stay consistent with these steps and you remain patient, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that your fade can turn out like this, or hopefully even better than this. My goal is to just teach you guys how to be efficient, how to be confident, and how to self-improve day by day. And I have to remind you, if this video is helpful to you or you've been enjoying it so far, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment down below what kind of other stuff you want to see. And make sure to share this video with somebody that you think could benefit from learning how to cut their own bald fade. Just thought I'd throw that little tidbit in there or whatever. Okay, for me personally, this is my favorite part of the haircut, lining yourself up. Knowing this, you want to make sure that you have a steady hand and that, you know, you're being very precise when you're cutting your hair. Now, if you guys want a more in-depth, detailed version of how to line yourself up, you can click that video in the top right corner. I go into the specifics and the process of doing that and making sure you're doing it carefully. So, go ahead and hit that video in the top right corner. After this one, of course. Alright, fellas, ladies, that is the end of the video. This is a ball finish in eight minutes now. On your first time, it's not gonna take you eight minutes. It might take you a couple hours, da 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 But use these steps, practice it, and not only will you save money, but to be more confident, to be more self-sufficient, and to have a nice face. Now, it's not perfect. I'm not the best barber, but you know, I know enough to look better than when the video first started. Now, if this is something that you like, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I pride myself on helping you become the best version of yourself that you can be Perfect. and part of that is being more confident in your appearance and grooming. It's a hot girl summer, hot, hot boy summer, whatever, whatever your preference, okay? I want to get y'all ready for that. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody who needs a lesson or two in grooming. Now, that's it. I got some more videos to help you guys self-improve. But as always, this is your captain speaking. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah. Let's go over for that the baby 2019. He gonna if you want this cut, you get he gonna. Yeah, yeah. Take it out of here. Y'all, y'all, y'all.